Well, I have a, a food business. I work okay. with like, uh, like food. That's what I like to cook, but like healthy foods, mm -hmm. frozen foods. That's what I do. What do you mean frozen Michael? foods? Like frozen meals, like uh, brown rice with like chicken. Like you make them at, for people? Yeah, and oh, sell. Okay. Okay. Sell like as a frozen mm. meal, like mm -hmm. prepackaged. Prepackaged, oh, cool. yeah. So, so you're just all about pushing like the healthy lifestyle. Yeah, that's what I like now. to do. That's good. So. That's great. You were like in movies back in the day, kind of. Were you in the brink? Yeah. <laughs> so you, you you were like a stunt double in that, right? Yeah. What was that like being on like a movie set as a blader back in the day? And I did with Todd Grossman too. Oh really? He was he was the the he was playing the girl part too. It was funny. <laughs> what? We had because this girl she was from. Um, I don't even know. She had a long hair, like black hair. We, mm -hmm. you all, we all had to wear like wigs and the helmet yeah. on top. Uh -huh. And the clothes, you know, when you're young, back in the day, you're like, man, I don't want to wear these clothes. I yeah. look stupid. Yeah. So we had to do like a few things, but it was fun. Mm -hmm. It was fun to, to be someone else. Yeah. And you, <laughs> said, you said Todd Grossman was... Uh, Todd. He, he was the stunt, stunt double, double too, as a for girl? the girl, too. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes, that was funny. I wish I had the tape. Yeah, it was funny. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. They're, they're, I guess you were one of only a few options to choose from back in that time. No, was funny yeah. yeah how was it working on set though as like skating as an athlete you're used to probably just being contests or being in the streets doing whatever the hell you want yeah. and then all of a sudden you're on set and people have to tell you what to do and how to do it was it that directive for your skating it seems like against what we do as skaters you know yeah but see i'm very like i didn't mind at all i thought that was cool mm -hmm. something different mm -hmm. to learn but right. um i'm very like I i'm not shy in front of cameras or anything like you know for me, it was fine. I was right. like very happy to be there. I was yeah. like, wow, I'm in a movie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> imagine. <laughs> was that the only movie you did? I did Brink. Um, and I did a lot of commercials too, like a Kodak. Um, I don't know, Capri Sun. We did a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you're pretty like f famous in, in Brazil, like on outside of blading on like the national level, right? Because of yeah. like all this exposure that happens down there. That yeah, I did a few things in Brazil too, but... Um, like commercials and stuff. I had a, like good sponsors too. And we used to have a lot of contests, but then these days is very like small. Of so course, we yeah. don't have much anymore. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to get the sport like going, you know, big, it's, mm -hmm. it's difficult. Is there anything big like in Brazil going on, like in the blading world or anything like that? Like is the scene, do you know anything about no, the scene No, now there I know anything? they're gonna do the blading cup there, like one oh, okay. stop. So cool. I think it's going to help a lot. Mm -hmm. We have like a small events, but nothing like really, really major, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. But I think it's going to pick up now. I see that. Yeah, I think everywhere we're seeing like just every time you go to a skate park now, you see more and more people you see skating. more and more people. Yeah. So I think it's going to get better. Yeah, definitely. It, that's good. It'd be cool if vert skating came back again. That would be. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> I know. Everybody, it's everybody so wants fun. to see that. Yeah. It's funny how like skating is going full, full circle now. Like everyone's yeah. so into street now, but like and we, we appreciate still, we vert have, so much we more. We have a, like a good vert in Brazil. Maybe like two. We have a group of people that still skates vert. Mm -hmm. It's so fun. Do you skate vert? Yeah. Still? So you have a I vert ramp it. that you skate. Yeah, we much. have a vert ramp Okay, in so that's the, yeah. that's the hard part about skating vert But the thing is like, I stay the whole summer doing the shows for all wheels and we skate the, the small ramps, yeah. the course. Man, when I go back call to that the, the small ramp, ramps. <laughs> yeah. But every time I go back to the vert, it's hard. Uh -huh. Because you kind of like, it's bigger, you know? Yeah. So I got to get used to it again. Are you still doing like flat spins and stuff like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but some tricks, no. <laughs> but some tricks, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I don't know. For for me, like whenever I was, I was like obviously grew up skating street, like and vert ramps to me are just terrifying. Yeah. Did you have any like bad injuries in the beginning, like learning it or? Thank God, no. That's but awesome. Uh, but um, I get I scared just wanting vert... to drop in those things, you know? Yeah. 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 No, but vert skating for some reason for me, I was learning very quick. Like was something that I. S I don't know, I was made for, I guess. I don't know. But when the tricks got harder, I felt like the double backflip, I felt hard like so many times. Like I knocked my face and uh, I think it was some ASA in London. I tried to do, I did the double backflip and I landed on my face oh. on the coping. Oh. So on the coping? On the coping, yeah. Oh, shit. So I sucked in. But um, that's why that trick is not my favorite. <laughs> you did it and, and that's it. And then I hurt my done. knee doing that trick. A lot of, I mean... If you want to be good, I guess hard tricks you're gonna yeah you're gonna get a little right hurt. yeah but yeah you said you it seemed like they set your mind to that one the double backflip you just really wanted to get that one I wanted to do it so bad <laughs> I was like man if they are landing I want to land it I, my first one I landed in France after the contest but see I'm not good at backflips my backflip it's 
it's very instead of doing like a gymnast when they tuck go up and tuck mm -hmm. and do the double mine was kind of like i start before i hit the the top okay. so it's not very safe but that's the only way i basically i i muscle up the double back flip yeah. instead of being all like smooth yeah i was just like oh, like a gangster god. Uh -huh. was I like look, one prayer was one prayer and then the trick <laughs> <laughs> it looked pretty smooth to me i don't know yeah. you maybe you struggled more then no it didn't but come for me it wasn't way. a trick that i was always scared it wasn't yeah. a trick that i was doing like oh it's easy no mm -hmm. yeah it was, I was always like always shitting my pants yeah. pretty much <laughs> yeah wow yeah i mean i could see like getting into like that level of territory taking some mm. injuries with that too because mm. that's totally yeah. how do you do that safe i right. don't know so yeah, hit, yeah do you have like a specific proud moment in your career mm, i think the double back for me was big because man a girl doing that i was like mm. wow are you like the only female to do double backflip like yeah. as of now then still the only still damn yeah. <laughs> <laughs> unless i don't know on the street i don't know on the street but i on i street? think I don't know if on the street some girls they yeah. launch box. Oh, oh, like launch box, yeah. yeah I don't know. But either way, I don't do that on the launch yeah, box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a single. So double backflips probably one of your just proudest. Just on Yeah. No, I'm saying just one of your proudest moments yeah. in your career. I mean, you yeah, had a lot I of I think the whole thing, like, just to be able to do something that you love, and I never thought I was gonna win everything. It's fun to win, but I don't know. I'm just. My feelings are very, I feel very happy for everything that I've done. Mm -hmm. I could do everything again. Mm -hmm. If I had the choice to choose a regular job or I'm going to go skate, I'm going to go skate, mm -hmm. you know? It's just, I don't have one particular thing, but I just think, I just think everything that I've done, I did it like 100%. So that mm -hmm. makes me proud because mm -hmm. you guys know how hard it is, all the skaters. Like, it's not perfect all times. So sometimes it's mm -hmm. hard. People see us like traveling the world and like uh skating hurts so you know it's I'm not just, easy that's it's for sure. not easy mm -hmm. it's like a regular job yep that's what i tell everyone and i was like uh, and people are like oh you're having fun doing those shows those shows the all wheels is oh yeah 90 days works. every day three to four shows a day the first month you're all smile and then the second okay the third you're dead it's seven days like, a week seven days a week damn yeah, and for me, that's, that's what I was work. saying about the age. Uh -huh. Man, this last year, on you. <laughs> last year, the last month, I was like on painkillers. Mm -hmm. My knees are just done. Oof. Even if you think you're 20, I think I'm 20 all the time. <laughs> but um, my body doesn't. 